Hi there and welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. In this episode we're going to be doing magnetic uh, glass cleaner review. I'm a big fan of them because you don't have to put your hands in the water. It's better for the fish that you don't do that and it's better for me because uh, face it I'd make a mess. So stay tuned guys let's do a review. So for the purpose of this uh, episode and the review, I'll be using what I currently have uh, at my place. That being the top fin, uh, which is PetSmart's uh, model. I'll show you that one. It's got a pretty cool handle. Nice, easy to grab. It's got the uh, soft felt to go against your glass on the outside. I do, I, I do like the handle. It's got uh, an abrasive pad here. Uh, what I find uh, with this is one, the pad uh, pulls away like so. And it tends to pick up uh, minute pieces of gravel and can uh, scratch your glass. It's uh, the magnetic itself is not strong, can be easily pulled apart. And this is their large model, and it uh, retails for about $30 Canadian. Next, we'll be looking at the, uh, well, the big price one. That being Gulfstream's Mag Float. Now, this is their larger model. Uh, it's got a good, strong uh, magnet that'll slam together pretty good. It's got uh, nice uh, felt that's not going to scratch your glass on the outside and it's got a pretty good abrasive pad as you can see along with a uh, very sharp uh, scraper uh, that that's generally extra. These uh, retail for about $116 Canadian. That's a big ticket item for me. And you can tell I locked that together pretty good. You can separate them. Next, we'll look at the Higer's HG815. This is their medium size uh, model. It's got a good handle on it. You grip it in pretty good. The uh, felt that's going against your glass is nice and soft. It's actually very plush and it's going to help you clean your glass and it's not going to scratch it. I really like that. It's well, it's well made. It's put together nicely. The abrasive pad, you can see all the grooves in there. That is going to take uh, the algae off without a problem. There's a nice razor blade attachment and you can add this or the another scraper. Uh, easily pick up additional uh, razor blades for this. It's not hard to uh, snap this on together at all. Uh, I am not going to uh, snap these together. I did that once. I won't do it again. It took me about five minutes uh, to pull them apart. They are that strong. So. Word of the wise, don't put these together unless it's behind glass because you're going to have a bugger of a time uh, taking them apart. The retail price on Amazon uh, is about $55 Canadian for the larger size, which is half the price of the mag flight. Well, let's see how well they do uh, in an aquarium. Now, as you can see, I'm for the demonstration purpose, I'm using my 100-gallon uh, uh, makeover tank uh, by Higer, uh, with all full of Higer products. As I said, I would. I'd be uh, demonstrating, and you can see how well the fish are doing and how well the plants are doing. Anyways, let's get to the test here. The top fin has a nice handle on it, like I explained, but the magnet is super weak. problem is also because it's weak and you're trying to pick it back up 
there's a chance that you can scratch the gravel. This is not cutting at all. It's it's their bigger model, and it's it's not going to do it on a, a hundred gallon tank. And now I got to stick my hands in the water, which I didn't want to do to begin with. Next, we'll be using the um, mag float. Again, the magnet on this is very strong. No problem uh, moving it around the tank. It's a very strong magnet. Got a good scraper on it. I have nothing negative to say about the. Sorry, I have nothing negative to say about the mag float, other than I don't like the price. One hundred and fifteen, hundred sixteen dollars is a lot of money to me. Especially for a magnetic glass cleaner. Last but not least, we'll be using the Higers. Again, good handle. Moves along nicely. You don't hear any scraping or anything that's going to worry you. It actually looks good in the tank that you're going to leave in the tank. I like the look of it. It looks much nicer than the mag float. It looks more natural that it's going to be sitting in your aquarium. And the fact that, well, it's a great product for a great price. Sum up everything up real quick. The top fin, uh, even though it's economically priced, it's just not worth it. Uh, it's, well, it's just not worth it. The mag float is a uh, very good uh, magnetic cleaner. It's very high uh, priced uh, and the actual look of it is not overly appealing uh, for your aquarium. The Higer HG815 magnetic uh, glass cleaner is a far superior product to that of the uh, top of the line uh, mag float. Uh, it's less than half the price and is, again, it's a superior product. I highly recommend it. Uh, well, thanks everyone. Don't forget to check out uh, Higer's uh, online store. I've left the link. Also their Facebook page and now their new um, Instagram account. Take care everyone. We'll see you real soon. I hope this uh, video helped. Bye now.